Hey guys, it's Chris Johnny X, and um, right. Oh, okay, sorry. I want to address a bit of uh, something with earlier with the three with the 3ds, with the Miiverse, and with the Nintendo. Earlier, around the same time that I put up my main video before my break. I put up a video showcasing that a post talking about how ROM hacks and fan games are in no way uh, what was it? are in no way profit for profit. They are usually non-profit. And that Nintendo decided that was not valid talk on their own forums on their Miiverse, so they deleted it. I haven't checked to see if they responded to me saying it doesn't violate the terms of conduct, but <clears throat> here's the issue with all of this. For the longest time, Nintendo has not been good with um, content creators and the, and the like. No matter what the video is, they tend to slap the ban hammer or whatever and flag whatever you're doing for copyright. Even if it's, say, a Let's Play or a review that is literally advertising your game. I can name so many examples on my channel alone, but the one I will highlight the most is Golden Sun. A while ago, a while ago I did a stream for the video game known as Golden Sun, my all time, uh, my all time favorite video game, which happens to be a Nintendo game on the Game Boy Advance, and it was re-released on the Wii U Virtual Console. A while ago, I bought it, and one day I decided, hey, why don't I stream it for people? And I was literally, I was practically advertising it so much, just how much I loved it. I love it. I love the game so much that I spent two hours streaming, which admittedly is longer than I would have planned to. And with me constantly saying, almost, almost constantly saying throughout the stream, buy this fucking game, you know how Nintendo responded? By flagging it for copyright and monetizing it for their own game. Their, res their original response as well to it was to make their own creator program where they get a big chunk of the money and you get practically chopped liver. Sounds familiar, right? React World. Yeah. The Fine Brothers did the exact same thing not long after by creating React World where they get a cut of the profits while you get not much profits, but hey, you get to do React videos without having your videos flagged because they tried to trademark the react word and all that. So what makes it so different that the Fine Brothers get attacked but Nintendo gets barely even a smidge of problems with it? <clears throat> My belief is because they are a big corporation. They can do pretty much whatever they want. Even if your content, fan-made or not, is under the lines of fair use, if it is even remotely similar to it, or even anything like it, you're going to get hit with a ban hammer. Although that's interesting because there are plenty of blatant uses of copyright on the Android and iOS market, and Nintendo is like, eh, let them have their fun. They even took down various fan games, and even a ROM hack, which I'm pretty sure does not fall under copyright. Because, of course, they were afraid of... What even are they afraid of? There, there's nothing to be afraid of with fan-made work. If anything, you should be hiring them. In fact, speaking of, let me give a very viable example. Christian Whitehead. Hope I got the name right. Christian Whitehead 
at least I'm pretty sure it was him at first, got a bit of notoriety when he ended up showcasing a, an iPhone port of Sonic the Hedgehog 1 from the Sega Genesis. This isn't a fan-made game. This isn't a ROM hack. This was a literal... Damn it, did I? Okay. This was a literal pirated port. Literally pirated on a system that it wasn't already on. And do you know how Sega responded? They hired him, and now he is working on Sonic Mania due out this year. When the guys that lost the Bit Wars end up rewarding someone who literally pirated it by allowing them by allowing him to work for them, you need to look at yourself and wonder, are we assholes? Because Nintendo, look, I adore your work. I even where is it? I even ended up buying a Wiimote and Nunchuck so that I can end up getting Wii games on the Wii U so that I can play them such as Skyward Sword or whatever. Although in all fairness these are knockoff products technically. I mean you can even tell from the motion 2 and one bit there but still I got these so that I could play more Nintendo games. Nintendo, you need to understand what fair use is. You need to understand when something is not meant to make you lose money but rather is just an admiration of sorts, a product of love in tribute to your work. When you punish that, when you punish people supporting you in a way that they only know how, you are no better than Donald Trump. Actually, no, that's, that's, that's going too far, actually. You are no better than... Hmm. You know what? You are no better than Capcom back in 2011. We all know that situation. Capcom basically, well, they canceled all Mega Man games they had planned as a result of Keiji and Afuni leaving Capcom. And when a huge petition came in to get Mega Man Legends 3 going again, the European Capcom Twitter went, oh, you guys didn't want it enough, so we're not going to be able to do it. Even though the petition got over 100,000 plus sig signatures. When you're not going to listen to the fans, eventually it's going to bite you in the dust. Nintendo, I love you guys, but you make it so hard to do so. Please, understand what fair use is. And understand that fan-made work, ROM hack, fan-made game, art, whatever you want to call it, it is in no way trying to steal money from you. We are not willing to steal money from you. We regularly give our paychecks to you so that we may be entertained by your products. And then we show our adoration through projects such as Pokemon Uranium and another Metroid 2 remake. And you respond to those love letters by lighting them on fire and burning them in front of our eyes. That is not what a company should do to their fans. This is Crazy Sean DX, and Nintendo, please, don't become EA, or Konami, or Apple, or Capcom 2011, or whatever other company that straight up sucks. Uh, who are the guys that made the slaughtering grounds? Those guys. Don't become those guys, Nintendo. Do the right thing. I'm, I'm pretty much begging you. Please. Oh, I forgot to mention. These products, these projects, these love letters to you that you decide to shut down, they're not going to go away. They're never going to go away no matter how much you do it. Sega chose to embrace them. And that is what you should do too. Although the, um, the uh, porn that is usually made of your products, um, that's, that's questionable. At best, that's, that's questionable at best. See you guys next time.